Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with a Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360. Full model number is NP950QDB. I'm going to take you on a quick teardown and disassembly tour so you can see the various components you can access after getting inside this computer. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're going to then flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now there's only four on this computer. You'll notice these rubber feet in, in each corner. The screws are under those. So guys, rubber feet are usually held in just by double-sided tape or glue. So I try to use a small, as small as possible flathead screwdriver or some sort of other small flat pry tool to slowly, gently pry those rubber feet up. You, you can damage them. You can rip them. But if you go slow and careful, you can pop them up without causing any damage. After you do, you'll see you have four screws, one under each rubber feet. You can remove those screws. And once you do, guys, you'll take another small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. Plastic will scratch your case a lot less than metal will. But you're going to go around the seam of the bottom case all the way around and gently pry that bottom case off from the rest of your computer. And again, go nice and slow and careful, uh, but be firm and get that bottom case off. After that bottom case is off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a side note, guys, before I do anything in my computer, before I touch any other components, the first thing I always do is either remove or at least unplug my battery. That makes it a little safer to work on the rest of the computer. Now, most of you, especially if your computer has not been entered before, right above this battery plug, you'll see a piece of tape. You gotta gently take that tape off, again, using a small flat, preferably plastic pry tool, and you can take that piece of tape off, and then you can release that battery plug there. The way that that plug works, guys, is it snaps off directly up and out of your computer. And again, I, I would use that plastic pry tool underneath these wires and try to get at the plug as much as possible, gently, slowly snap that up, and out, out of the computer. It may take a little bit. When I did it, that plug was in there really good. Uh, but again, just go nice and slow. Do a little on the left, do a little on the right until you get that plug out. After you can get that plug out, you have these four screws. If you're looking to remove the battery, you undo those four screws and your battery will then be released. Now that the battery has been either removed or at least unplugged, it's safer to go deeper into the computer. Uh, as another side note, guys, I have all my computers sitting on an anti-static pad when I'm working on them. Either that or an anti-static bracelet is a great idea to, again, avoid damaging anything in the computer while you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement parts or upgrade parts for this specific computer, check out the link above, also below in the description, and it'll have a list of all those tools and parts. Okay, so after removing the battery, I'm gonna show you some other stuff you can get at. First thing, down near the battery, you have your speaker on the left-hand side of my screen, speaker on the right-hand side of my screen. Unlike other speakers in laptops like this, they're not connected down bottom by a, a wire. Uh, they plug into the motherboard separately on each side. So that's how you would get at your speakers. Uh, the Wi-Fi card, guys, is not removable. That's right here. You can see the antenna wire coming down um, and plugging in the both sides. So that's your Wi-Fi card. It's not removable, unfortunately, so cannot be upgraded. Uh, your solid state drive right here, it's an M.2 port, and there's another one here uh, for an upgrade if you want it for additional storage. You would undo that screw right there. That would release the solid state drive, and it would unplug from this port. This one is the same, just reverse. So the port's on this side. The screw is over here. Uh, touchpad assembly is down here. There's a ribbon cable plugged in there underneath a piece of tape. Um, these type of connections, guys, are very fragile and it's very easy to break that black clip. I'm gonna play right now a quick clip that shows you how you can safely, correctly um, manage one of those connectors. Okay, so to take a ribbon cable out of this kind of connector, first you have your ribbon cable here, you have the port on the motherboard, and then you have this retainer clip over here. This clip opens and shuts like a book cover. It opens from this side, and the hinges are on this side. So in order to get that up, be very careful. Take a small flat pry tool, slide it underneath, 
and pop it up like that and then the ribbon cable can come out. After taking the ribbon cable out, I like to put it back down for safekeeping so it doesn't get caught on anything and rip. These are very, very breakable, these retainer clips. And if you break it, you're most likely not gonna be able to find a replacement, um, in which case your ribbon cable won't be able to uh, secure down anymore, so be very careful. To get the retainer clip back in, you would pop it up again very carefully. You would slide the ribbon cable in, nice and flush. It may take a few times if you're not used to it getting it flush and then just snap the retainer clip down and that's how you would operate that kind of clip. Okay, so now that that's done, you have a few more of those kind of connectors, guys, right here, uh, right here for your keypad. So it's good to know how to operate those um, because those are, are, again, very, very breakable. The other thing, guys, uh, the RAM to shout out, you don't see any removable RAM here because it's integrated into the motherboard, unfortunately. You can't replace it or upgrade it um, with the exception of any external things you can do. The internal stuff, it's, it's in the motherboard. Um, lastly, the heat sink fan assembly up here. Uh, you see your fan on this side, fan on this side, heat sink in the middle, uh, going from the vents over the CPU, and then, of course, the CPU in the middle right there. Quite a lot of screws to get these up. Each fan can be independently removed uh, by itself without taking up the rest of the heat sink. They have three screws in each fan, one here, here, and here, and then here, here, and here. Uh, and then they're plugged into the motherboard here on this side and here on this side. Same type of uh, connector that I played that clip of earlier. After undoing those, the fans will come up so you can clean them, replace them if you need to. To get the rest of the heat sink up, you obviously have these four screws here over the CPU. And then you've got one more screw up in this corner and one more up in that corner of the actual heat sink to get that off. After you get it off, this is what you'd be looking at. There's your CPU. If you guys were here to replace your thermal paste, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description. I'll also include it in the end video. So once this video is done playing, that'll pop up on your screen. It'll be a tutorial on how to correctly reapply thermal paste if that's why you're here um, after obviously cleaning off the old stuff. So that's a quick teardown tour um, of the major components inside this computer. Again, if you need any replacement or upgrade ideas, they'll be in that link below, along with all the tools that are needed to get into this computer. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs that are also below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you next time.